to what we think is the best beach, the most beautiful beach in Kolanta. Let me show you what's coming up. Let's go. This is one of my favorite beaches ever. It's a bit hot out here, guys. <laughs> We're taking you to Tuesday mornings, which is our favorite spot for breakfast on the island. It's Ooh. Right, look at that. right, let's go down. I can't wait to take a dip in that sea. It's hot. So, as you can see, there's almost nobody on this beach. If you're new here, we are Danny and Diggy, an English-Polish couple from the UK. We have quit our jobs to follow our dream of exploring Thailand for the next year. If you love good food, views, beaches, and want to see more of this beautiful country, join, join us on, on our, our journey. journey. I love it. Do you like it? It's good, yeah? Or do I look like Ace Ventura? <laughs> no, you don't. Lawn, lawn ma. Chai. We have been here a couple of times already and we love it so much. But check how beautiful it is around here. In this video, we're gonna show you not only one beach, but two beaches. But the first one we think is the most beautiful, amazing beach. And it's quiet. So yeah, you can say this is one of my favorite beaches ever, not only for its natural beauty, but mainly because it's so quiet. You come in here early in the morning, there's hardly anyone there anyone here look can you see there's literally not many people around which I absolutely love there is no music blaring anywhere you can only hear cicadas in the background and see beautiful 
a bit hot out here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> bit of shade, bit of shade. That is one thing, there's not much shade on this beach. So, I do have a hat, don't worry. I won't burn that much. But the sun comes directly over, so... Not much shade, but we love it. Don't we? Yes. Yeah. It's gonna... my favourite... This is my favourite beach ever. We're gonna bake today, we're gonna bake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Top tip, when you come here, there's only one little shack that does a few beers, not many snacks. So we bring our own with us. Go to 7-Eleven, grab it before you come here. There is one tiny resort in the middle, but all the facilities are generally for the people that are staying there. Mm. You can buy a beer and bring it down, but you'll pay a little bit more. So bring your own stuff is our little tip, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we did last time. But this beach is amazing. Yeah. It's yeah, nice. Let's explain them why why we like this beach. Go for it, you start. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for me the biggest reason is the sea is absolutely lovely. There's lovely temperature, there is not many waves, there's like literally flat sea. And the best thing about it is it's fairly quiet there's not many people around there's few people walk around up and down but you will find quiet spot just for yourselves like we did over there but there's not much shade here so if you're like me bring a hat as well if you don't have too much hair make sure you bring a hat <laughs> so yeah this beach here is actually a bit more wilder than the other ones you wouldn't see loads of sunbeds loads of umbrellas because when you hit this beach this is basically the last one before you go to the national park. So it's not built up around here. The national park is literally right behind us. That's so. why that's why you can see just jungle behind us. I will take later on the closer look to the basically to the forest over there. But it's jungle. You know those big massive jungle jungly trees? I don't know what jungle, they call jungle trees. jungle jungly trees, yeah. But it's so beautiful. All you can hear is sea and cicadas behind it. Let us show you around this beach. Let's go. <laughs> so as I said, there's not much shade here, but what people do do here, which is quite cool, is there's loads of driftwood. So if you want to make your own little shelter, or if you have kids and you want to get them doing something, get them out of your way, it's a really good idea to do something like this. Let me show you. I'm just going. Let me run. So you see, ow, ooh, that's hot. Look behind me. Oh yeah! See? People make their own sunshades. So there's one here, but you'll see these up and down the beach. People just make their own shelters out of all the driftwood. I've made a little blockade for us because it's a bit windy today. So I grabbed some massive logs and dragged them down the beach for Diggy to try and stop the wind because the sand is blowing everywhere at the minute. I'll show you, have a look. So yeah, I made our own little blockade out of wood. That's our little spot. But yeah, you can grab your driftwood. As you can see, people make their own little shacks. There's one there, you can see. Woo. People started making one here as well. So you want a bit of fun? Grab a bit of driftwood. It's quite cool. So if you come to the National Park, this is the way you come. Take a stop at this beach. It's really nice. As you said, when we first arrived, you saw some of the pictures. That was at low tide. So the tide is now coming up and it looks even more beautiful when the tide is up. It looks amazing. And the colour of the water? <laughs> Look at the colour of this water, it's amazing. <laughs> it's so blue. <laughs> and you didn't say, the water is actually, it's not warm warm. But normally you get a shock when you go in the water sometimes. No. Us, us guys get a bit of a shock sometimes. But this water, you don't. You jump straight no, in. It's, it's like a bath. It's so nice. It's really nice. So no, we, we really love this beach. This is one of our favourite ones. Obviously it is nice to go to the more popular ones sometimes. The ones with your beach bars, all that kind of thing. But if you want to get away, grab a beer, grab some snacks, take some fruit to the beach. This is the one you want to come to when you're on Colanta. So yeah, have a look at the video. Hope you enjoy. 
We're gonna go jump in the sea. See ya. <laughs> Right, we changed the spot seeking some shade because it was getting so hot now. It's af just after the middle of the day, so we need some shade. This is a better spot. Have a look. <laughs> why we love Kulanta so much. Can you see it now? This spot is just like so idyllic. You've got the palm trees coming straight mm. over you. You've got the blue sea scout out the front. The sand is so soft. Really hot. <laughs> and it's boiling. Yeah, it's absolutely yeah. boiling. The nice thing here is there's a bit of wind on this beach. So you don't feel too hot, but sometimes that's quite bad because you don't know when you're burning. Yeah. But let me quickly take you over here. When we last came here, there was quite a cool restaurant, but since the whole world went crazy, it seems to have shut down, which is a bit of a shame. So, if you look behind me now, oh, just here, there used to be a restaurant, but it's all shut down now. And I think where we're sitting now also, there's bungalows. They're still kept up, so they might still be renting those out, maybe, I think. Or there's a little tiny restaurant on one side, and I've got us two beers. Those two beers were 140 baht. So it's not too bad prices on the beach as well. It's so nice. Like I said, it's a bit more rustic, this beach. It's not full of your traditional sunbeds. And all, blaring your, music. all your shades and blaring music, yeah. So we love it. Diggy, you're really brown. I look so white. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that little restaurant I just said, they do serve some basic food so you can get your Thai food, you can get like a pad kapao. They do nice grilled chicken, it looks like, right on the beach. They do your papaya salad, rice, so your standard Thai dishes. Oh, it's nice to be in there, nice and cool. Cool but warm. <laughs> Yeah, really enjoyed this place. We love it here. Nui Beach looks amazing as well, so make sure you keep watching to see that one. Yeah, um, yeah we only have a 10 15 minute trip back to Klong Nim Beach. Klong Nim Beach, yeah, where we're staying, so that's it. And then tomorrow we're gonna take you to Yanui Beach, so stay tuned because we're gonna show you another amazing beach in Koh Lanta. Let's go. Goodbye, beach. We. Oui. So can you see all this wood broken in front of me? There used to be a lot, a lot of lovely restaurants with amazing view of Kantiang Bay before everything happened a few years ago. So last time you saw us, we were on the most beautiful beach on the island, Bamboo Beach. Today we are going to take you to Nui Beach, which in our opinion is second most beautiful beach on Koh Lanta. But before we're going to take you there, we need breakfast. So let's go to our favorite spot on Koh Lanta for breakfast, Tuesday morning. So yeah, as Diggy said, we're heading off to Tuesday morning for breakfast. This isn't our regular breakfast, but as you know, we love Thai food. So this is a bit more on the pricey side, it's a bit more western, but you've got to treat yourself once in a while. So, let's go. Right, we're trying to choose something from the menu. It's really hard because they have so many amazing options in here. What are you going to go for? I think I might go for avo mash. Avo mash. And I'm so. going to go for French toast. But the way they do it in here, it's amazing. And 
You cannot beat this view. Check it out. So, somewhere in the great unknown, when I return from the afterglow, will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take Ooh. So right with that. Captain Car. I remember coming here before once, but this is even better than what I remember. Yep, so we've got um, grilled tomatoes with spices on, loads of crispy bacon, poached eggs with your avocado, and also you've got a salad with feta cheese. Check that out. I haven't had cheese for ages. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. The best thing I like about these breakfasts is the poached eggs, because when you pop the egg, it's nice. Ready? Oh wow, check out that. Mm -hmm. That's some good breakfast. That's worth coming here, paying a little bit more as a treat. Definitely come and try this. And the bacon looks amazing too. So good. Right, my breakfast has arrived. Right, what we got here. I got myself some fried eggs, French toast, grilled tomatoes and crispy bacon. Oh. See, my breakfast was 180 baht and I, if I remember right, Danny's was 220 baht. Coffees around 90 baht each, so yeah. A little bit more expensive than what we usually spend for breakfast, but it's so worth it, guys. Oh yeah, how good it tastes. You have no idea. Mm -mm. Good, thank you. Yeah, it was lovely. So good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank The food was so good. We've been here three years ago and it's the same quality. Amazing. Guys, make sure you check this place out when you come to Kolanta. Yeah, so that was an amazing breakfast. As you can see, we're on the road again. We're off to Nui Beach. And yes, if you're craving and you've been in Thailand for a long time, a Western breakfast, I cannot recommend a better place. It is amazing food, amazing owners, amazing people. And the food hasn't changed in three years. It's still yeah. the same quality. It's all quite natural as well. They don't add too many seasonings. Go there, try it for yourself. It's amazing. Yum. Right, so we just made Tunui Beach. You have to park your scooter uh, on the road because we actually have to walk down. Oh my god, there is loads of monkeys here. These don't seem nasty. Some of the monkeys in Thailand are not very nice. Really? Right, let's go down. I can't wait to take a dip in that sea. It's hot. Just let you know, this beach is very easy to get to. There's steps all the way down. Flip flops are fine, so yeah. don't worry about coming down. It's not many people around, is it? No, it's quite quiet, which uh, is nice. That's why I love beaches in Kolanta, guys. You you won't get that anywhere in Thailand. Paradise, just for yourself. Well, and then maybe you share it with a few other people. You don't get that even in low season in Phuket. No chance. For us, Phuket is very much overrated, isn't it? Yeah, but if you look at it from here, you can actually count people here. Where you see mm. some beaches, you wouldn't even attempt to count people. Yeah. So that shows you how quiet it is, which is lovely. We can get our own space. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go down. Let's get a dip. Fly the drone to show you around. A 
think last time we were here, this shack was just a shack. There was nothing there. It was just a beat and run down thing. But yeah, it looks like you can get beers and a little bit to eat as well. Probably mm. nothing massive, but this is really nice, this beach. Yeah. It's so quiet. So as you can see, there's almost nobody on this beach. Amazing. I'm like a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you are my, my donkey. <laughs> Before everything went to top. No. Mm -hmm. 